It's a tremendous privilege and honour for me to be here today, marking 100 years of Queen Mary's Hospital, but also the amazing transformation programme that we've seen here. I think today is showing that this is relevant for Mexi residents. It's delivering, it means that people won't have to go up to town, and it means that it's right and it can be part of our community. Well, you look at the fantastic facilities we've got here, and that is a real tribute to the work of our Oxley staff and all of our partners together to create what I think is an outstanding facility for local people. I'm sure it's going to be a great benefit to the community and um, I do know obviously from past experience the, uh, the fantastic work the nurses and the staff do for the hospital. It's really brought about by hard work between all the partners here in Bexley, all the local providers, the local authority, the CCG and together this is what we've achieved. Some years ago I had an operation here, my kids were both born here, we thought it was you know, just going to be knocked down and it's now I think the future of healthcare in Bexley. I think it's fabulous. We have world leading facilities here now for local people to get the healthcare they need, the NHS treatments locally rather than having to travel further afield. But it's also remembering that history. You know, the pioneering surgery of Professor Harold Gillies plastic surgery at that time of people returning from conflict and how, yes, things have changed here, but some of that world leading approach that we've had throughout Queen Mary's history, how I think that's now been cemented for the future. And a huge congratulation to the amazing team that's delivered this and the incredible NHS staff that continue to provide that care, attention and treatment for the benefit of the local community and what this means for the local community too. So a very happy birthday to Queen Mary's, celebrating 100 years and looking forward to co with confidence to all the years ahead. It's a brand new day, gotta take it on my way, gotta take it on The centenary event at Queen Mary's Sig Cup and the reopening of the site was an absolute pinnacle for so many of us. Um, personally, it's somewhere where I've lived and trained uh, many years ago and uh, professionally for my patients, for local residents, to walk around and see this fantastic centre offering so much for the local community, a place where uh, has gone through so many different transitions and now is something that is not just special for us now uh, but for generations to come. This is what partnership working is. It is all about making sure that we work together across Bexley, wherever you're from, whatever organisation, to look after our residents. This has all been possible because of the way that we've been working across Bexley as partners for our residents. We work with our local authority as commissioners and with our local providers, with the wonderful Bexley Care Organisation that pulls together so many different parts of the system, with our voluntary sector, with GP federations, I mean you name it, uh, it's part of the team because that's what makes the best service possible for our residents and for our patients. So um, I think we're all incredibly proud of where we've got to and who knows what's next as long as we can look after our, our residents for generations to come then, we're doing the best that we can. Since 1948, when the welfare state was established, health and social care have been living in a parallel universe to each other. We're trying to put an end to that and bring things together because actually people want joined up services that work for them. They don't care who provides it, they don't care which organisational badge it is, it's about people having things that are going to improve their well-being and make their lives important and that's what we're trying to do. I think we all know that the future of health and social care is integration and um, we're really proud that today we're able to formalise the work that we've been doing over and over again. We know it's already making a difference and we really are confident that in the future it's going to make an even bigger difference. So, so much of it is an opportunity to join the system up for the patients and our local residents. It's really quite complicated for people to access the services they need. 
and this gives us an opportunity to come together and see if we can join that up with people. It's such, a, it's such an opportunity to do that. The future's really bright in Bexley, you know, we're a really good positive system. You know, just today you can see the difference that we're making and things can only get better. this to all the, your, your, all your viewers. <laughs> I'd be very impressed with it. I think we were all disappointed when Queen Mary's lost its District General Hospital status. But of course now it has a very important role as a community hospital. And certainly the colleagues who joined me, the old boys who all retired 20 years ago, have expressed their you know, appreciation of uh, how impressive it all is. We've had a fantastic time. Yeah. Have, so long as the punters have enjoyed it, then yeah. that's amazing. Oh, I think I liked um, holding like, insects. Oh, the animal encounters. Yeah. Did you hold the snake? I touched it. I, think. I held the cockroach. I cannot believe I did that. But... <laughs> have you had fun? Yes. Yeah, we've had a lovely time, haven't we? What did you like best? The, the bouncy bounce. castle, the slide, and the rides. I think you've been on there quite a few times, haven't you?